Hi everyone, my name is Steph. This is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review the next two book in the Legends of Sport series that is being published by Albert Street Books. These two books were sent to me for review by Alan and Unwin, so thank you very much to them. So we have a new book in the Football Legends series and one in the F1 Legends series. You may remember earlier this year I did talk about the first two books in the series. Returning to the Football Legends, we have Mary Fowler who plays for the Matildas and as always, I've said this in previous videos, I'm not a big sports person. I follow one sport only, and that's the only thing that I'm knowledgeable about. So reading these books is always fun because I do learn something, and I learn something about the people who play the sport. So these are unofficial biographies of famous sports people for children. They are very highly visual. There is still a significant amount of text. They are written for middle fiction readers, but it's not chapters and chapters of text. It's broken up in a very visual way that makes it easy and digestible for them to read. The blurb says, did you know that Mary Fowler is one of the youngest players to ever join the Matildas? Did you know she scored her first World Cup goal in Melbourne in a 4-0 win? And did you know she can speak Dutch fluently? This book will tell you all about why Mary Fowler is a football legend. And then the F1 book is all about Daniel Ricciardo, who I actually do know his name. He's been racing for a very long time, so I've heard it as I was growing up. And my dad quite likes watching the racing. The blurb for his says, Did you know that Daniel Ricciardo has won eight Grand Prix races and finished on the podium 32 times? Did you know he's entered more F1 Grand Prix than any other Australian driver? Did you know he can eat half a litre of ice cream in one go? This book will tell you all about why Daniel Ricciardo is an F1 legend. So both of these books are fantastic because they do give you that bite, those bite-sized bits of information, not only about the individuals that the books are about, but also about the sports that they play and why their achievements are significant. So these books have been written for kids who love sports and who want to know more about their favourite sports people. And I think Kit Cross has done a really great job. It's obviously clear that Kit is a big fan of sport because they're writing across multiple sports. And Lee Hedstrom, who has done the illustrations and the, the design inside, is, has also done a really amazing job. So as you can see, inside, like you've got just the right amount of information for a younger reader who wants to know what's going on. There's enough technical vocabulary based around the sports that they're involved in to make it interesting and to learn something and a lot of visual appeal so that kids don't feel overwhelmed just by huge blocks of text. So I'm having a really great time reading and reviewing these books and I've been taking them in and sharing them with students and you know they're getting quite excited because they're seeing sports that they really love represented in books that they haven't really had access to before so that always makes for a really positive experience. So thank you again to the publisher for sending me these copies for review. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about all of the books down below. In the comments I'd love to know have you read any of the Legends of Sport series or feel free to share your predictions about who might be next. So these are all Australian sports people which is amazing and I'm just really grateful that I've had the chance to read them. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't leave a comment feel free to either leave a soccer ball or a race car emoji to let me know whether you prefer soccer or car racing. I, I don't really have a preference. Otherwise I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.